Well, we have another Gamescom in front of us, and some more gameplay has been shown, along with the big question, did Microsoft finally appease his fans? Let's get into it. What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It's your boy MM2K back again with another one. Do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please. So you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up because you know the deal. I'm not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right. So we had games, uh, Gamescom 2019. That's finally here. Uh, a lot of game talk, a lot of new stuff that's been introduced, um, uh, and most of it from the Xbox side on opening day. You know what I mean? Uh, so let's talk about it. Let's let, let's go right there. Let's start with Inside Xbox, the infamous Inside Xbox, the one that's been loathed by the community because of its lack of entertainment <laughs> that it presented. Um, and then this is the first Inside Xbox since Microsoft made cuts to that division that hosts. Uh, this show, you know, uh, Rikari was let go along with some other people and a lot of other uh, mixer content providers. So we got a chance to look at the new team as they kicked off Gamescom and this is the stuff that they showed. So I want to say first and foremost, they did some talk about Game Pass and the Game Pass talk was impressive to your boy. I mean, they showed off Kingdom Come Deliverance, Blair Witch, which Kingdom Come Deliverance, I believe, is coming August 22nd. Blair Witch is coming August 30th, day and date of release. You know what I'm saying? And both of those games are going to be on Xbox Game, uh, uh, game Pass for console and for PC. And last but not least, they talked about, uh, as far as Game Pass is concerned, they talked about Devil May Cry coming. And that's coming August 30th. No, 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 no. My bad. That was uh, coming uh, the the date of uh, Gamescom opener. So that has been in Game Pass since August 19th. Wow. So those are three big titles that are coming to the service. And I will tell you this. Kingdom Come Deliverance is a big deal, particularly on PC. So it was good to see that xbox is up in the ante on the content for game pass um they also showcase metro new dlc which looked very good um they also talked about destiny i think it's called shadow keep the new mode that's coming that's going to be a big deal for the game and a big um uh about face for the whole franchise uh i i will say that it was a little disappointing not to hear that Shadow Keep was coming to um, uh, that not to hear that it was coming to Game Pass. I think a lot of us were anticipating that. We kind of read a little bit more into the announcement that they were doing their presentation on Microsoft stage. But you know, um, it's all good. You know, it was good to see some Destiny Two for the Destiny Two fans. Um, but last but not least, man, that Gears Five, man, oh man, roll that beautiful bean footage. Hey, look. <laughs> Gears 5 Horde Mode looked fantastic. Um, I, outside of the campaign, do not really care for anything that's Gears, even Horde Mode. But that Horde Mode looks so layered and looks so involved um, that I definitely want to give it a try. You know, it, it looks like a game within a game, okay? Then it was the Gears 5 campaign, which a lot of people were concerned about the, the, the fidelity of the campaign, like how well it would look. <clears throat> no longer have those fears, okay? <laughs> the Gears 5 campaign that they showed looked top notch. It looked stunning. And uh, just the little snippets and the, the theme that they put around it looked very intriguing. So uh, overall, the inside Xbox, you know, did did a good job. You know what I'm saying? That was a good showing. Um, and it was a good showing because, again, they didn't oversaturate you with that coffee shop stuff. It seems like that Xbox may be starting to listen, that they're starting to realize that, hey, at the very least on the messaging front, man, we, we, we got to get better at this and we got to tap into our hardcore. So that's a good sign. Um, let's move on to Stadia. Now, here's the thing. Your boy MM2K... 
I'm not out here like my homie, uh, fellow broadband bully brethren, Xavier Bay called himself the, the, the Stadia King. But I, I'm invested in Stadia. I brought the, the Premier Pack or the Founders Pack. I'm going to be getting the day one. And I see value in Stadia um, as far as traveling is concerned as, as a backup to, to my gaming uh, festivities, okay? Um, I'm out with the wife. I can stream and all other stuff. That's That's my purpose with, with stadia and especially if we get to a point to where xbox doesn't provide the hardcore gaming that i prefer i'm not going to support them i'll have my xbox one x to stream my older games but as far as newer games that i'm, I'm interested in streaming I'll, I'll i'll get via stadia you know what i'm saying if i want to stream it that bad that said that was a better presentation with all my mumbling and stumbling for Stadia than Stadia presented themselves at Gamescom. Their presentation was horrendous, okay? They tried to hit you with a direct style, a Nintendo direct style presentation, and it was just bad. And, and it seemed like that Google Stadia was just there to, to prove to gamers that they're getting the same multiplats. I mean, they showed Cyberpunk 2077 there, um, and it's cool to know that you know the big name games are coming to the platform you know and i believe they're coming day one um but here's here's my problem purpose of a presentation is to excite people you know i don't care at what level you're doing it at you're supposed to excite people get people invigorated announcements are for generalized updates so if you just want to give us some information about something, just do it an announcement. Do a Twitter post or something. But if you go do a presentation, you better have some means of exciting the crowd or you fail. And Stadia failed with this presentation. So it's a bummer for them. But again, I get what the purpose was and I get, I still get the underlying value for the system. So believe you me, don't believe that this makes the system trash it, it doesn't and this is games calm for crying out loud you know what i'm saying so it is what it is last but not least we had games con opener with jeff Keeley, and oh my gosh it was equally as bad as <laughs> stadia maybe even worse in some regards because i had to close it off but i'll get into that there was nothing memorable about the show besides that bad stuff and of the worst was death stranding <laughs> oh my god Death Stranding seemed empty and incomplete and nothing more than a wink and a nod to the Kojima staunchest fans right <sighs> if you haven't seen the headlines Norman Reedus' character pisses on a damn mushroom and makes it grow and you heard the crowd go wild he climbs up a ladder goes to a bunker where Jeff Keighley is like some some AR figure that he's talking to and he's delivering a package. He so this guy is actually delivery man the way he's been teased and mean. He yes, he's a delivery man. Then he slides down the mountain in this weird obtuse way. And he's rocking the baby that's in his pickle jar, right? That he has to have attached to his body. It's it's just so no it's just so no right now you know and here's what i get overall from that presentation of death stranding more than anything more than the fact that it was just a bad showing it was pointless it was bad and it should be wiped from the memories and in, 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 of time space and in, in, in existence is that jeff Keighley really needs to think about his involvement with kojima because he needs to think about the perceived bias towards this man and how it leaves a stain on the professionalism of the establishment that he's created, which is the VGAs. Think about it. How can you have a truly unbiased network if the guy that's going to potentially win game of the year, you're in this game, you stand over this guy, you fantasize over this guy perceivably, right? And I've heard people on social media say, but there's a group of scholars that they import from all over the world in the galaxy and they make the votes. No, this is Jeff Keighley's thing. He's going to have influence. 
the fact that they sit there and they got a new award and new presentation for Kojima every three days for the VGAs, that's Jeff Keighley doing that. So again, Jeff Keighley, you need to sit and think twice about your involvement with this guy because it is mess. It is seriously messing with the unbiased belief that people think that you guys don't have anymore. You know what I mean? People don't think that you 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 know you, you can judge things down the middle because of your love for this man if he's involved. So. You know, I know I'm rambling on about that for a long time, but golly, that 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 it was it's just cringing to see, man. And, and it just irks me that this guy does this with reckless abandon. You know, the VJs just don't so really at this point, the VJs don't mean anything to your boys, basically what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? In English. But with that said, that's it from your boy. You know, um, interesting day one of Gamescom. As news starts to drizzle out, I will definitely be on it. I will definitely let you guys know about it. We'll do some podcasts. We did about eight of them on 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 uh, Z's channel on Next Gen Seven Twenty channel. Holy cow! But with that said, enough with my babble. Let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below. Because like I always say, who cares what I think? And if you did like what I have to say, you can catch me on the corner every boulevard. Check out my links below to follow me. Hey, y'all do a show with your peoples. Dirk Griggity, Snow Bunny, Neethos. It's called Scram Punks. We do it every Wednesday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Dirk Griggity's channel. Check us out at hashtag Scram Punks for more information. And check out my brethren, like I said earlier, the broadband bullies. We're doing a damn thing. Check out the Discord link, the link to the Patreon, the link to the gear, because it's fly. And last but not least, check me out on a Hard Knock Digital Culture channel, which is my Twitch channel at twitch.tv forward slash MOS2000. All right. And with that said, enjoy Gamescom, people. You have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.